Hi, I'm Stevie C in the place to be. In this video, I'm revisiting my neon flower in a bell jar project. This is a men's voltage light effect comprising six neon relaxation oscillator flowers, safely contained in a glass bell jar sourced from Ebu. The individual neon lamps in each flower light pseudo-randomly and will get more random as time goes on but are also influenced by external factors, such as ambient light or capacitive coupling. Like a lot of my project videos, this was inspired by a Big Clive project. I designed my board in Sprint Layout, printed it, and manufactured it with dry film photoresist, UV light, ferric chloride, hot water, soda crystals, and loud music. It wasn't perfect, but it's still working perfectly a year and a half later. I've now designed a more professional looking PCB. It's not complete as there's some component values missing, but this will be rectified if or when I make these available. This version has support for eight relaxation oscillators, as well as six current limited permanent outputs and four non-limited pass-throughs. The circuitry is the usual dropper resistor. This can be anything from 100 kilo ohms to several mega ohms for 240 volts. I'm using 470k here. The resistor charges this 10 nanofarad capacitor via the diode, which half rectifies the AC into pulse DC to make the neons randomly light. After each pulse of the sine wave has charged the capacitor to the neon strike voltage of about 90 volts, one random neon strikes which prevents any others from lighting at that moment. This process then repeats on each pulse of the sine wave. There's a 1K resistor in here to reduce the strain on the lamps. The current limited supply is much simpler. It's simply a dropper resistor in series with a neon lamp. The pass-through output is only for use with neons which have their own resistor. Connecting a neon without a resistor will result in a very loud kablamo, possibly blown fuses, and possibly brown buttered britches. So once again, this flower composing multiple neons, but no resistors, is for the relaxation oscillator circuits. In a pinch, you could connect a single neon without a resistor into the relaxation oscillator circuit. But really, this single neon without a resistor is built for the circuits with a single resistor. The pass-through outputs can either be used with a single neon that already has a resistor built in, or with the neon flowers comprising multiple neons, each with a resistor. And now, through the magic of editing, that's all the flyers soldered into the board and ready for a test. Well, it's not gone bang, so that's a good result. I'm using a pointing device because this is now all live at mains voltage. So as you see, we have these neon flowers in here with their own resistors per neon. These will stay continually lit as they're fed straight from the mains. I've got various different designs of neon relaxation oscillator. We have the classic flowers in here, some with different amounts of neon lamps on them. We have the test tube ladder style up in here. We have a fan shaped arrangement here just a variety of different designs of relaxation oscillator. Finally, there's some single neons on the base of the PCB, each with their own resistor, with the exception of this one here, connected into the pass-through, but with a resistor attached to each lead. We have some red, some green, and some blue. So now I'll have to head over to Ebu to buy another glass display jar. I'll show the project with the neons settled in in a future video. If you enjoyed this project, please consider giving it a like and a share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching.